So today's video is going to be based on my first ever video request on this channel. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Aisha. Thank you for clicking on this video. I hope you're enjoying your weekend so far. So today's video is going to be based on my first ever video request on this channel. And I remember that it was sent in by Abdulwa Dude and it was basically asking me to recommend some anthologies. I had mentioned I enjoyed reading anthology in that video. So I have decided to share 15 anthologies that you've likely never read before. So some of these anthologies, I read them quite a while ago. Some of them I read recently. So the first book I'll be talking about is Self, an Afro anthology of creative nonfiction edited by Basit Jami. So this book, I came across it during Aki Festival 2018, if I'm not mistaken. And this was the first edition in this series at the time. And it's basically just an anthology of creative nonfiction written by African authors. So this anthology contains works by different African writers from different parts of the continent. So it's not just West African centric, it's quite diverse. The anthology covers different topics, different personal topics, I believe. And it introduced me to different African writers. Some of them have later gone on to enjoy their works. I follow some of them on social media. But yeah, that's my first pick. I'm trying to keep this video as short as possible because we have 15 books to get through. So fingers crossed. So the next anthology in my list is Communities of the Quran, Dialogue, Debate and Diversity in the 21st Century, edited by Imran El Badawi and Paula Sanders. So this book <clears throat> basically contains essays from different Muslim communities. So different writers that come from different Muslim communities, some of them are from the Shia community, some of them the Sunni community, some of them the African American community, even the feminist angle, um, some Hamadi, I believe. So, like, some just like different communities in Islam and the way that they interact with the Quran. The way that we interact with anything in this life is influenced by the society we grew up in, the communities we grew up in, our outlook to life is shaped by this community. That is why, unfortunately, you find weird different people interpreting the Quran in weird ways. I liked that this book gave me insight into how different communities of Muslims interact with the Quran. The next book I'll be highlighting is Nikosha Beyond Barriers, Voices from a Divided City, edited by Aleph Adil, Baria Kemal, and some names I really can't pronounce. I tried. So I remember that I came across this book in 2018 as well. Oh, it was so heartwarming because I've never read anything from Cyprus at the time that I read this book. And finding out that their capital, the capital of the country, is a divided city, just it was just interesting. So in this anthology, there are entries from Cypriot Greeks and Cypriot talks. Apparently, the city Nicosia is divided along those two like different ethnic groups. So there were contributions from different people that are based in Nicosia. I remember that there was even an African that contributed to the anthology, and it was interesting to get the African point of view, like someone that is living in the country and is not from the country itself. So yeah, that was an interesting read as well. The next book that I'll be highlighting is Yellow Means Stay, an anthology of love stories from Africa, edited by Olwell Uwazuri K, Confidence Uwazuri K, and Munachim Alma. I really enjoyed this book. It's made my list of almost favorite books that I read in 2021, but some of the stories didn't eat the way that they should have eaten. And I think that was why it didn't make my list of the best books of 2021. But I'm still glad that I read this book and my trick to enjoying this book is keeping stories that don't work for you. But yeah, so this is a collection of stories about love, oh, different types of love, name it, weird loves, problematic love, forbidden love. I think my favorite thing about this anthology is that different African writers from different parts of the continent, South Africa, Zimbabwe, Namibia, Nigeria, Ghana, Kenya, Lesotho. One thing that I noticed in this anthology is that many of the stories had like a sci-fi feel to it. So many of them were futuristic, set in 2040, set in 20... 
90 set in 30 hundreds so that was very interesting i really enjoyed this anthology the next book that i'll be highlighting is this anthology called our women on the ground essays by arab women reporting from the arab world edited by zara ankir and forward was written by christian amampour I really enjoyed this anthology so much. So the essays in this anthology were written by 19 Arab women who are journalists in their own country. And I, oh, I don't, oh. It was just refreshing reading stories written by these women that are on the ground. These are stories that they can relate to because these countries belong to them and they are also having to fight misogyny, you know racism that comes with them being arab women, women reporting about their own countries i really really enjoyed this anthology pick, pick it up the next anthology that i'll be highlighting is the book of barcelona a city in short fiction edited by manel ole and zoitana so this is an anthology written by spanish and catalan authors this anthology is a series. There is a book of Vermina, book of Cairo, book of Dhaka, book of Gaza, book of Havana, Istanbul, book of Jakarta, book of Khartoum, book of Leeds, book of Liverpool. Comma Press are just very good. When it comes to short stories, Comma Press, 10 over 10. So yes, this book, the book of Barcelona, very interesting read. The next anthology that I'll be highlighting is The Ordinary Chaos of Being Human, Tales from Many Muslim Worlds, edited by Margaret Richards. I discovered so many different authors reading this book. I enjoyed the essays in this anthology. It was beautiful to discover some countries that you would not ordinarily associate with Islam or Muslims. And it was interesting to discover new authors as well. I wrote the review for this book and I will link all the reviews in the description box. So check them out. Another anthology that I would like to highlight is This Is Us, Black British Women and Girls, edited by Kafaya Okolam. If you followed my channel since the beginning, you know that this was my best book in 2021. I enjoyed this anthology and down. This book is a collection of poetry and prose by black British women and girls aged 4 to 86. Like different range on different topics. Just look at look at the diversity and the prose and the poetry were collected by the editor Kafaya Okolao from different people, our family members. The woman in her family random strangers people she works with acquaintances friends so this anthology is as diverse as it gets to be difficult to cover the scope that this book has covered without i mean obviously like we there are many different narratives but i just like the extent that this book went to to represent that diversity props the next book i would like to highlight is from women to the world letters for a century edited by Elizabeth Filippoli. So this book is a gem, literally. So it is an anthology of letters from different parts of the world written by women for other women that are upcoming, like in the new generation. There are so many different people that contributed to this anthology and they wrote letters to interesting women and interesting people in their lives. Um, this anthology was compiled during the height of COVID so you can imagine the amount of work that went into it so props to this book the next anthology that i would like to highlight is also an anthology about women and it is called kissat short stories by palestinian women edited by joe glanville i'm pretty sure i've mentioned this book on this channel once or twice so this book is a collection of stories that are written by palestinian women and this book was published in 2006 so this is like back in the days so if you've read minor detail the writer of minor detail adamia shibley also contributed to this anthology the stories offer different insights about the palestinian struggle from different women across different generations some of them were translated into english in this anthology and i wrote the review for it link will be in the description so the next book i would like to highlight is new daughters of africa edited by margaret Botsby look at the size of this book and that brings me to the next book i'm going to highlight which is daughters of africa which is the first edition of this anthology i'll put the picture on the screen so this is an international anthology of women of african descent writing so think of your favorite african 
writer that is a woman think of them you will find their writing in this book do you want to talk about Yasmin Abdelmajid or Leila Abu Leila or Ayubamia Ade Bayo or Shadi Adeniro? Or do you want to talk about Aisha Ata or Nana Asma or Sefi Ata? Or do you want to talk about you and your motto short chinilo paranta or even oh I can't pronounce her name? Or do you want to talk about Sukishwana? Or do you want to talk about Jasmine Ward? Or do you want to talk about Yvonne Vera? Or is it Chika Onikwe? See this anthology, I've not finished reading this anthology and it's gonna take me a while. But yes, definitely pick New Daughters of Africa up. And if you are in for an interesting one, pick up Daughters of Africa as well because that was published before this one. So yeah. So the next book that I'll be highlighting is Bakwa 09, Taxi Drivers Who Drive Us Nowhere and Other Travel Stories. So as the title suggests, this anthology is an anthology that explores what it means to travel as an African. So you have stories from different African writers that travel from to and from different destinations. So you have Lagos, Lisbon, Berlin, Maputo. Mbaka published very good books. I've mentioned one of the anthologies in one of my videos. They publish very good anthologies. I've not read this one. But I'm very eager to see what is going to be in it because the ratings are very high and I trust Bakwa. And my father loves this book, so I'm recommending it to you before I read it. If you don't enjoy it, come back for my job. The next anthology that I'll be talking about is A Map of Absence, an anthology of Palestinian writing on the Nakba, edited by Atef al Shair. Now, this is an anthology of poetry and prose. Like, it's always very mm, itchy for me whenever I pick up an anthology that contains poetry and prose because it's always a hit or a miss like it's always one or the other but this is really good because it contains writings from many different authors Mahmoud Darwish that you should know if you follow Palestinian writing Ghassan Kanafani was writing I loved in men in the sun there are stories that are depicting the lives of Palestinians before and after the Nakba I've read a couple of books based on around or about the Nakba and this this is palestinians know how to do anthologies let's just put it that way short stories and anthologies palestinians very good definitely pick this one up if you are looking to read an anthology and you want to read about palestinian narratives last but not the least is this anthology called i refuse to condemn resisting racism in times of national security edited by asim Qureshi. This is also one of the many anthologies that I'm yet to read, but I know that I'm going to enjoy because this topic, the theme of this anthology is right up my alley. <laughs> I've not read this anthology because I have a lot of books and I haven't gotten around to reading it, but my fans love it and I know in my gut, in my soul that I'm going to enjoy it because some of the contributors to this anthology, they've contributed to anthologies that I've enjoyed in the past, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to enjoy this one, but again, if you buy it and you don't like it come for my job but yes hopefully that's 15 anthologies that i've recommended and i hope that this video is not going to be too long if you've watched this video up until this point comment the book stuff emoji and i hope you pick up some all some of these books i really enjoy anthologies and if you have any anthologies that you think i'm going to enjoy please leave them in the comment section and i'll be sure to try them out <laughs> But well, thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!